What is that noise? Listen. What's that noise? The noise is coming from the furnace. This is the furnace. Okay, this is called a central heating system. This is the kind of heating system we use in houses here in Canada and the US. Did you know that? It's called the central heating system. This is a very important part of the house because without it, you would freeze here in Canada. Do you have central heating systems in your country? Maybe not because your country is probably really warm most of the year. Well, Canada is really cold most of the year. So we need to keep our houses warm and this is how we do it, okay? So this is called the furnace, okay? This is a furnace and the furnace blows hot air throughout the house, okay? So the air goes up through here, through these ducts, okay, through these pipes, and then it comes out of a vent, okay? This is called a vent. You can hear the furnace just shut off. Okay, so it goes on for maybe five or 10 minutes and then it shuts off. And then when it gets cold again in the house, then the furnace automatically comes on again. Okay, so it blows hot air through the house and the air comes out through these ducts or through these, these vents, okay? This is called the air duct and this is a, a vent. Okay, so every room in the house has one or two vents, you know? So if you stand near the vent, then you can feel the hot air coming out. Okay, so that's how we heat our houses here in Canada, okay? So this room where I'm in right now is called the furnace room of a house, okay? The furnace room. So there is the furnace, okay? Uh, this is the hot water heater. Okay, so this heats the water for the house. It's not, it doesn't have anything to do with the furnace, okay? So I'll give you a little view of the, of the whole room here. Okay, so usually people have their washer and dryer in the furnace room, okay? So you can see most, most of the time, furnace rooms in houses are unfinished, unfinished. That means the floor is just cement, and look at this, I mean, it's, it's unfinished. Look at all those pipes and, you know, I don't know, just, it's not a very nice looking room, right? Look at all these wires here. Look at this, wow, all these wires, what's this? I don't know, what's that? <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, um, now there's probably uh, a carbon monoxide detector. Let's see, is that? There, I'm not sure. Uh, but here in Canada, every house needs to have a carbon monoxide detector um, because carbon monoxide can kill people. Okay, every year in Canada, people die because their furnace is not working properly and they breathe in carbon monoxide and it kills them. Okay, so it's very dangerous. So a lot of houses, I think it's the law, I think most houses, every house needs to have a carbon monoxide detector. So if, if it detects carbon monoxide in the air, then it'll start beeping, beep, 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 beep. Okay, so I'm not sure where it is here, but I'm sure it's, it's somewhere here. Okay, so a furnace room usually has the furnace, the hot water tank, and maybe a washer and a dryer. Um, now, this is in the basement, okay? So I live in a basement suite. Did you know that? I live underground. So who owns this house? Well, actually, uh, some Indian immigrants own this house and I am renting their basement, okay? I'm paying $825, which is pretty much the cheapest 
monthly rate you will find here in in Calgary. 825 Canadian dollars per month for a basement suite, and that is including utilities. Okay, so all I pay is $825. I don't have to pay utilities, which is really nice, okay? Um, so I have my own washer and dryer. So I don't have access to their place and they don't they don't come into my place here. Now in another video I'll give you a tour of my of my basement suite, okay? But in this video I just wanted to talk about the um the heating system. Okay? Now, one of the downsides, it means one of the disadvantages of most basement suites is that the people upstairs control the temperature in the house. Okay, so they have the thermostat upstairs. The thing is called a thermostat. Because so that's upstairs. So what if it gets very cold down here and I want the furnace to go on? Well, I don't have control of that. I can't just turn it on. So they have control of that upstairs. So, you know, that's that's a real disadvantage. So if I get cold, I have no way of getting warm. That's why I have a space heater. Okay, something like this is called a space heater. It's very important if you live in a basement suite um, to have one of these in case you get cold. Okay, so I can just put this in my bathroom if my bathroom is cold, or if my bedroom is cold, I can just plug it into my bedroom and it heats it up pretty quick in like maybe five or 10 minutes. It's nice and warm. So you can, you can buy one of these for about 20 or $30 here at you know different stores here in Calgary or in Canada. Okay, so if you live in a basement suite, you might get very cold because you can't control the thermostat because the upstairs people control it. That's a big disadvantage of being in a basement suite. Uh, now, another disadvantage is, you know, very often it's noisy, right? Like if they're walking upstairs, I can hear it. Um, or if they use the bathroom and they flush the toilet, okay? Everything goes down through these pipes here, okay? So it's loud, you can hear water running, um, them like walking around, or if their, you know, TV is on or something like that. So, you know, very often basement suites are the cheapest, well, they're always the cheapest place to live because they're not the best quality place. Um, you know, usually noise is a problem. And like I said, the heating, you know, most of the time you don't have access over the heating. So, you know, I don't know. If you come to Canada, maybe you don't want to live in a basement suite, but they're really the cheapest um, that you can find. So, so that's how uh, Canadian heating systems work. A lot of people recently have asked me in my in the comments. They've said, "Can you make a video about the heating system here in in Canada?" Okay, so it's called the central heating system. This is called the furnace. This is the filter, I think here. Okay, so all the air goes through the filter. It's filtered, which is nice. Okay, then it goes through the air ducts, and then it comes out the vents in every room. That's how it works. <laughs> It's a pretty good system. How about you? What kind of heating system do you have in your house? Let me know down there in the comments. I'm interested to learn how you heat, you know, the houses in your country, but maybe you're from a really warm country and you don't even need to heat your houses. That would be great. Anyway, let me know down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care. <laughs>